When this happens to your battery, it's never a good thing. Now in the old days, they tell you to be prepared and go out and buy a good set of jumper cables. And what you're looking at here is probably the best set you can buy. These are all copper, one gauge wire, and they're even made in the USA. Now they should be good because they cost almost 300 bucks. But it doesn't matter if you get a fancy set of jumper cables like these or a set that costs just 10 bucks because they've always got the same problem. And that's that you need another vehicle to help get you started. Now you might luck out and meet somebody like this and she's going to help you jump start your car. But the reality is this is probably what you'll end up with or you might just be somewhere that there's no one else to help you at all. And in this video, I'm going to show you a better way to jumpstart your car that doesn't require jumper cables, you won't need to ask anyone else for help, and you can even use this thing to do other jobs. This is the brand new Fantic T8 Apex Jump Starter. Now they say this thing can start pretty much any car, whether it's gas or diesel. So before I get into the features, let's see if this thing can actually jumpstart some dead batteries. We've got a GMC pickup truck and this thing has a totally dead battery. You can see when I crank the key, I just get the engine light, but nothing else goes on, not even the dashboard lights. Many jump starters can kind of give you a boost, but this one is going to have to do all the starting on its own. And using the jump starter is really easy. You just put those clamps right onto the battery terminals and then the Fantic itself lights up. But you can see in the display that thing is only reading 4 to 5 volts. And that's really low for a battery, it's kind of like it's not even there. So we need to put this thing in a special boost mode, and you do that by holding the two buttons together, and now the display gives you that green start light, which means we're ready to try to start the engine. And the engine fired right up without any kind of hesitation. And my friend was really excited because normally he uses an old style auto charger, but he can never actually start the engine with it. So he has to put it in a trickle charge mode, and that takes about three hours before he can even try to crank the motor. And here's a really common situation where your battery will go dead. You might leave your headlights on, or if you've got kids, you know the joy of when they leave that interior light on, and then the next morning your car won't start. And in this situation, your battery is drained, but it's not completely dead like it was in that GMC truck. But now you still won't even be late for work. You don't need to call AAA or wait for a friend. Just connect both those cables to your battery, the display immediately comes on and you're ready to go because that green start icon is lit up. So all you've got to do is go inside your vehicle and turn the key. But what if you make a mistake and you put those clamps on the wrong terminals? Well that's exactly what I'm doing here and I reverse the positive and the negative. Now fortunately this has a safety feature inside and you can hear the alarm sounding and it won't try to start your engine. If you buy one of these jump starters, everything you need is packaged inside this case and you'll be ready to jump start your car. And I think what set this kit apart was that the components are surprisingly well made. That screen in the main unit is about 3 inches across and even the cables and the jumper clamps themselves were completely made of copper. And the unit itself is also water resistant and they've even added this LED light on the end that you can use as a flashlight or you can set it in a couple of different warning modes. But what really makes this thing different is it's not just for jump starting vehicles. You can also use it as a portable power station. You can charge this from 0 to 100% in just 2 hours using the included 65 watt adapter. But the best part is you can also charge something else at the same 65 watts. And I tested this by using the included USB-C cable to try charging my MacBook. Now normally Macs include a 65 watt power brick and this did the same job and it eliminated the need of carrying that extra charger with me. Another great feature is you don't have to charge this thing up all the time to be ready. It'll actually hold the charge for up to two years and you'll still be able to start your car even if you haven't looked at it in all that time. I wouldn't even necessarily buy this just for the jump starter. You could actually use it just as a portable power station and that jump starter ability is a huge bonus. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.